Good afternoon and welcome to a very short video on something that Codemasters are currently working on which is a partial movement from DirectX 11 to DirectX 12 on the PC. Uh, for most of you guys, as long as the game runs fine, it really probably doesn't matter to you. For me, I'm experiencing an issue whereby when I'm playing the game, it's absolutely fine, no issues whatsoever. When I try to record the gameplay for YouTube, whatever, uh, I'm getting lots of lag on certain corners in all the tracks. Uh, you're, you've probably seen it if you've looked at some of my videos. Shortly, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll show you some examples of lag um, where quite literally you'll enter a corner or exit a corner and the game literally just freezes for about a second. Uh, unfortunately, your computer's still kind of going, so you've got to anticipate uh, where the car's turning and then all of a sudden it kicks back into life and you've you know you're sort of halfway through the corner or you're out the corner you'll see what i mean in some examples that i'm going to show you um and then so what we've got is they're using a beta on directx 12 now directx 12 is purely for windows 10 and it allows you to uh the, or the main improvement is that it allows you the CPU to use uh, more than one core um, to the graphics card, send to the graphics card. So it should technically improve uh, performance um, and gameplay. Codemasters are, are, you know, doing a beta of it at the moment, and I thought I'd give it a try. So without further ado, let's kick in with some problems that I'm facing and then we'll go straight into a race with DirectX 12 to see if those uh, problems have gone away. So we are now running DirectX 12 um, and we're going to be trying to do Abu Dhabi again. Uh, same sort of condition, same car. Uh, the difference is we're just doing a three lap race because distance doesn't mean anything at all when we're trying to look for lag. Let's just hope that uh, it, it cures it. So I'm all ready to go. Uh, so let's get a, bit, a try. Okay, so I have a frame count running all the time. Uh, gives me sort of an idea of whether or not there's suddenly like a freeze or a lag or, or anything like that. I am, I am running every single setting pretty much as high as possible. Um, and so we're looking for uh, sort of freezing in gameplay like really badly um, and at the moment I've noticed the odd drop but then we are running quite you know all the cars at the highest setting uh, there's going to be certain corners this one coming up uh, is, is redound for uh, being a bit slow so let's give it a shot Seems to not be too bad. Still running on about 60 frames per second. Oh, getting very close. Still running obviously quite a tight grid, so that's where oh, the 
game tends to have a bit of a funny moment once you know everything starts to get spread out so here's another corner coming up oh you know it's looking quite good at the moment i mean there's the odd bit where it ever so slightly slows but um if i probably turn down some graphics a bit that might help but at the moment i'm not getting the problems that i was facing um in my other game uh, my other race is the DirectX 12, so sorry, the DirectX 11. So at the moment, the 12, oh, this hat is annoying. Um, the DirectX 12 seems to be, in my opinion, uh, better. And, and yeah, just not, it's not freezing. So we've got a couple more laps of this. So let's, you know, let's not count our chickens just yet. Let's get past this house. Come on. Bugger it, let's put it on rich. Goodbye, Magnuson. Oh my god, he's still there. He just will never go away. Give it some power. We passed him yet? Oh, he's still roughly there. Okay, looks like we're done. Uh, so yeah, at the moment, yeah, it's 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 looking a lot better. Uh, the beta 12, a lot better, and I'm hoping, yeah, that it can stay this way and you know if they can continue developing the direct x12 uh, to make you know and and basically go fully with it and get rid of that annoying working progress bar at the top as well uh, we're on to a winner certainly when it comes to me recording my gameplay and uh, yeah so one more lap to go I'm not pushing it too much I'm not you know I'm not I'm not out to win it or anything like that. Just want to. Uh, it's just all about a test, really. The only thing I've got to say about DirectX 12 is it does have a tendency to crash at the moment. We're still getting the odd crash where, if you uh, allow, for example, um, when you start the race weekend and up pops the official you know, Abu Dhabi Grand Prix, F1, yada, yada, yada. Um, if you leave that running for too long, it, it seems to crash the game and then the game just disappears. So you've just got to kind of skip through those sequences uh, a lot quicker and not let them run. That's what I've noticed with my game so far. But uh, other than that, which is more important, is the gameplay. And the gameplay is, is, is pretty good. Uh, one other problem that I faced was when I paused it and went in to do an instant replay because I wanted to capture a, uh, a photo of an incident uh, it, it threw me out and it crashed as well so providing I don't do that and get three quarters in the race and then decide I want to take a photo you know it's uh, who won the race that flashed up God, did Van Dorn beat me? Oh, dearie me, not going to be able to let that one down. Okay, uh, okay. okay so the reason why that uh, end of the race ended very abruptly was because the game just crashed. Straight after the finish line, straight into the first corner, it's just completely crashed. No reason for it, it it's just gone. So, yes, DirectX 12 seems to make the game run smoother. However, at this moment in time, it's crashing randomly at different points. But that's what you've got to tell Codemasters about. They're there to listen and work on those points. So, yeah. Let's hope uh, we're just going to you know, get something bigger and better. But at the moment, certainly in recording my gameplay, it appears to work, which is what I need. So, yeah. 
Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more videos on all different forms of motorsport uh, on the PC. And whack that subscribe button uh, be simply because, uh, yeah, I want to send more content to you. Until then, see you later.